Okay, ladies and gentlemen, who would believe it? So I brought out this lettuce, romaine lettuce for Gina, but she was like, yeah, she didn't like it because there's no salad dressing on it. So now I'm gonna give Miss Thing some salad dressing <laughs> for her salad. Okay, Gina. There's the olive oil. And here is some balsamic. There we go. Um, this thing is drinking some water. She's refreshing her palate over by the surfboards. Let me mix this around for her. Gina. A little toss. See if she'll go for it now. I mean, she does not like salad. She does not like greens if it doesn't have salad dressing on it. Madame. Madame, votre salade est prête. Madame. Madame, votre salade. Votre salade est prête, madame. <laughs> Let's see if she goes for it. Now, there's nothing, there's nothing particular about the fact that it's fig, balsamic. It's just what happened to catch my eye in the store yesterday. So we'll see if this stuff is drenched enough for her. She's quite thirsty. Okay, Gina. You want to give it a try now? I put salad dressing on it for you. Let's see what you think. What do you think? Give it a whirl. Want to try it? Come here. Yep, salad dressing's on it now. What do you think? Now she eats it. Unbelievable. Oh, she's looking at me like, what do you mean it's unbelievable? Don't criticize me. You're right, it's rude. Yeah. What about your chickens? Do your chickens like eating their greens with salad dressing or is it just my chicken, Gina? She's very discerning. There you go, she does not like plain romaine. Goldie, on the other hand, loved plain romaine. Ah. Yeah. This goes to show we're all different. And if I don't cut the pieces small enough for her, she makes a noise of frustration also. She lets me know. Yeah. I'm happy to see you. Pretty girl. No, it's probably the neighbors. Mm-hmm.